feeling for your relief, happiness, anything like that? Um, you know, I think the biggest thing was, you know, going into that meeting was uh, you know, understanding that, you know, we were going to find out, you know, one way or another what was going on. Um, obviously, incredibly happy to be named starter, incredibly uh, relieved. Um, but at the same time, you know, we discussed that, you know, this is just the start. I mean, you can't now relax and, and, and rest on the fact that, you know, you've been named, a, you know, a starter at a certain position. I mean, we've got South Florida coming up, and, you know, that's really the mindset now. It's just, you know, going through camp, obviously, you're going to compete through camp, but at the same time, you're getting ready for your first week opponent, and, uh, you know, that's got to be the most important thing in your life right now. He said that a lot of the sort of subjective decision-making that he made was based on, you coming back from the ACL and having the, the teletendon and come back from that with an infection and just sort of the the road you know the, the tough road you've had to go I mean now that you've got the job do you kind of look back and feel like you know, some sort of satisfaction that you battled through all this to get back again? Um, you know I, I think there's there's some satisfaction in that and um, you know I can honestly say you know I think that I've overcome um, a lot you know since I've been here um, but, you know, one thing that I think he now knows about me is that I'm a fighter. And, you know, I'm going to fight in, in every situation possible. Um, you know, no matter what is thrown at me, uh, I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure that um, we're getting the job done. So um, whether that was something that, you know, he saw about my character or toughness, I mean, you know, that's how he perceives it. But um, just the one thing that, that I know is I'm going to work to, I'm gonna come to work every day. Um, I'm going to do everything I can, and I'm going to fight in it, no matter what situation it is. <coughs> Obviously, started nine games last year. Is it pretty easy to take ownership of the offense at this point in the next ten days or so? Um, you know, I, I think so. I don't think it's going to be you know a struggle in, in any way. Um, you know, but it's again about now. Obviously, you're happy that you're named the starter, but it's really just about getting the team ready for South Florida and, and doing everything in your power to um, you know, get guys going and, and making them realize that you know this is what it's all about. I mean, you wait all year long uh, for football season and then it comes by and it flies by so just realizing um, you know just how valuable every game is and, and just making sure that as a team we're just taking one game at a time and doing everything we can each week to just prepare for just one opponent. Dane in the middle here. Coach also said that the uh, communication between the two of you guys is really good that you can almost tell what he's thinking and you know where he wants to go. Can you just kind of talk about that and how that's evolved and why that is? I mean, I think that's just, um, it really just comes through experience. And, um, you know, now going into year two, um, you know, I understand how he likes to coach. Um, you know, he understands what gets me going, what pushes me, what doesn't. And um, that relationship has definitely grown, and, and we've seen it grow together. Um, obviously, there's, you know, a ton more room, you know, for growth, and, and we'll continue to grow and evolve and um, get to know each other better. But it's just the difference from year one and two is really just how we know each other, you know, as people, as coaches, as players. Um, I mean, that's definitely made huge strides.